Spencer, get up. You're going to be late for school. Will you hurry up? We have to go to school. Spencer, it's Saturday. Gotcha. Oh, Mom, it's so nice out. I don't think I'll go to school today. Spencer, if you don't go to school, you'll never be president of the United States. I don't want to be president. You have to wear makeup. Okay, then you'll be a doctor. I don't want to be a doctor either. Well, what do you want to be? Asleep. Spencer, if you don't go to school today, you're going to end up one of those skinny men who sleeps in the park and fights pigeons for peanuts and talks to the trees. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll go to school. Only if you want to. Gentlemen, and I use that term loosely, would any of you care to guess why I have your three test papers in front of me? Uh, we all got A's? <laughs> B's? C's? I don't want to guess anymore. Question number 12. Who were the Huguenots? Wayne, your answer was... Fat astronauts. <laughs> Bailey? Fat astronauts. Spencer? Fat astronauts. Do you have any explanation? Uh, great minds think alike. What a coincidence. It's mental telepathy. <laughs> Bailey, you of all people should never use the word mental. <laughs> Fat astronauts. The Huguenots were French Protestants who were persecuted for their religious beliefs and thrown out of France. Into space? <laughs> no, you saphead. You boys cheated all over this exam. Okay, okay, we cheated. I just want to say that it's all my fault. No, it was my fault. I have to go along with that. It was their fault. <laughs> you cheated too. Hey, Mr. Beanley, don't you think you're getting a little upset about this? <sighs> what do you mean? Well, I mean, if you think about it, cheating is a very natural thing to do. Even little babies copy. That's how they learn how to talk. <laughs> it's only society that's put these twisted negative values on cheating. Are you finished? By the look in your face, yes. <laughs> you have all flunked this course. You are all suspended from school. And you will not be allowed back until your parents come in and I have told them that you all cheated and disgraced them. Here, <laughs> Wayne, use this. We've talked enough. <laughs> Mr. Beanley, please don't suspend us. We're very, very sorry. Sorry isn't good enough. Do you want my watch? Get out of here!
16 years old, and we've already screwed up our lives. I feel like God's watching me, and he's turning thumbs down. He's got thumbs. <laughs> oh, he has. I've seen pictures. Well, I'm worried about my father. Yeah, my old man is gonna clobber me. My father doesn't hit. Whenever I've done something to disappoint him, he gets in the car and goes for a drive. So far, he's driven 90,000 miles. Yeah, my dad's gonna be upset. But my mom, she's the one I can't face. She still cries watching me sleep. I've made for you, and look how you pay me back. <laughs> you've broken your mother's heart, and you've disgraced the family name, and you're gonna have to live with that guilt for the rest of your life. But not me. Because I'm going to drown myself. Spencer. 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 I can't tell my parents. Hey, you guys are getting all bent out of shape for nothing. There's a very simple solution. We just never go home again as long as we live. <laughs> Where will we go? Hey, man, I don't have all the answers. We've got to go someplace. Well, let's go to another country. Yeah, how about Arkansas? <laughs> what about Australia? They say that's the new frontier. Or we could go to Norway. I've always wanted somebody to call me Sven. I don't know what we can do, but we can't go home. I've done all these crazy things my whole life. I just can't disappoint my folks again. Me either. We gotta go someplace where nobody will find us. here to join, sir. We're just here to ask a few questions. Terrific. I'm Sergeant Riker, and I'm here to help you be all that you can be. In the army. <laughs> Sense of humor. I like that. You're the kind of guys it's fun to share a tank with. My father didn't have much fun. The Army sent him to Fairbanks, Alaska. He told me he froze his butt off. Well, you can forget that. We closed Alaska. Now, if you notice all the little wars we're having around the world now, they're all in nice, warm countries. So where do we go? For you guys, I was thinking about Fort Acapulco. Wow, that is radical. I don't want you guys to think of the Army as being all fun and no work. Uh, sure, we have tennis, we have golf. Golf? We play golf? Yeah, but there's no pampering in this man's Army. You gotta carry your own clubs. <laughs> Sounds like a great career to me, guys. Son, you seem a little bit iffy about signing up. Well, the thing is, I don't even see why we need an Army. I mean, can't President Reagan go over to Russia and meet whoever the boss is over there and play ping pong for the world? <laughs> You're officer material, son. Where do we sign? Not so fast. I've got to ask you guys some questions. The Army doesn't take just any slob off the street. We have our standards, you know. Have you got all your fingers and toes? Yep, I do. Good. We're halfway there. <laughs> any other physical impediments? <laughs> Do noses count? There's no problem. In fact, you may not even need a gun sight. <laughs> and of course, you're all old enough to join. How old do you have to be? 18. That's us. That's right. 
Yeah, we've been 18 for years. <laughs> Fill these out at home, bring them back tomorrow, and you are on the way. Hey, wait a minute, you guys. I'm not sure if this is the right thing to do. Boys, you'll get no pressure from me. Sure, you'll be serving your country. <laughs> Turning into real men. But the big thing is how your parents will feel. How your fathers will puff out their chests and your mothers will hold their heads high knowing that you are defending America's freedom. <laughs> All right, Fort Acapulco, here we come. <laughs> be all that you can be. I need you in the army. Hey, Fort, I'm the U.S. Army. <laughs> What's so good about goodbye? It's four in the morning. What's going on? Uh, I'm going fishing with uh, Wayne and Bailey. So what's in the gym bag? Oh, bait. Hey, stay out of this. You're using Mom's picture for bait? <laughs> yeah, it worked on Dad. Spencer, are you in some kind of trouble? Look, it's just something I have to do, and I don't want Mom and Dad to find out yet. Can't you tell me? If I tell you, you'll tell them. Spencer, I'm your sister. We're flesh and blood. You can trust me with your deepest and darkest secrets most of the time. <laughs> Andrea, you have to swear not to repeat it. I swear. Even if Mom threatens you, your lips have to remain sealed. I swear. And if I break this oath... May I remain flat-chested for the rest of my life. <laughs> okay. I'm waiting for Wayne and Bailey because we've signed up to join the Army. You're joining the Army? Shh. Look, I had no other choice. We got caught cheating on our midterms and Beanley kicked us out of school. And I just don't want to be around when Mom and Dad find out. But you just can't disappear. Yeah, I want to mail him a letter. <gasps> I thought I heard talking. What's going on? Oh, um, nothing, Dad. Spencer, why do you have your clothes on? It's the middle of the night. Where are you going? Oh, I'm, I'm not going. I, I'm coming. See, um, I couldn't sleep, so I uh, went for a walk. Now I'm tired, so I'm going to go to bed. See, I'm taking off my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm almost asleep. <laughs> Andrea, what are you doing in here? Um, I was, um, uh, counting sheep and one of them ran away. <laughs> it's your mother's side of the family. <laughs> Thanks, Andrea, for not squealing. I promised, didn't I? Bailey's secret signal. A wolf how in this neighborhood? His only other impression is quacking like a duck. Well? I guess this is it. Please don't go. Quack, quack, quack. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm going to miss you, Spencer.
later every morning. You know, the strangest thing happened last night. I didn't think it was strange. I thought it was fun. <laughs> Not that. I swear I heard a wolf howling. Did you hear anything? I thought that was you. <laughs> no, it was a wolf. And then I heard a duck quack. And then the wolf got real sad, like the duck didn't taste good. Um, you must have been dreaming. I guess. Well, I've got to get down to the store. We're having a sale on fan belts. Oh, great, honey. I'm sure they'll be lined up around the block. Bye, Andrea. Spencer? This is your last warning. I am on my way up. <laughs> Spencer's gone. I know. You know? Well, if you know, Andrea, where is he and what is he doing and why didn't you tell me? Well, you'll know the whole story once you get the letter. Letter? What letter? Mom, I want to tell you, but I can't. Da 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 Band practice? Da 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 Oh, my God, he's joined the Navy? That's good, isn't it? No, he didn't join the Navy. Oh, thank God, that's a relief. Why were you humming anchors away? Because I don't know a song for the army. <laughs> Maybe we should have thought this out. Stop worrying. How are you feeling, Spencer? I feel uh, short. <laughs> This is Lieutenant Kruger. He's going to swear you in, and then get you on the bus for Fort Polk, Louisiana. What happened to Fort Acapulco? <laughs> you are going to Fort Polk, where the cockroaches are as big as rats, and the rats are as big as alligators. We'll have to hit them with our golf clubs. <laughs> Lieutenant. Thank you. At ease. Soldiers look a little young here, Sergeant. <laughs> How old are you, son? <clears throat> um, I'm 18, sir. It's right here on my birth certificate. You don't look 18. Oh, that must be my new razor, sir. Give me a real close clean shave. You are about to be sworn into the United States Army. Let's face the flag. Raise our right hands. Repeat after me. I state your name, do solemnly swear. I state your name, do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Spencer, get your hands down! Oh, lady, you can't come in here. I said hands down! <laughs> you are interrupting army business and you'll have to leave. Get your paws off me unless you're looking for a purple heart. Miss, you're gonna have to leave. I am that boy's mother. Well, you can wave goodbye to him after he gets on the bus. No, forget it. He's not going anywhere. I have a meatloaf waiting for him. The army has plenty of meatloaf for a young man like this. This young man is a 16-year-old boy. No, madam. His birth certificate says he's 18. Well, I don't care what it says. He's 16. I know. I happened to be in the delivery room while he was being born. <laughs> is that so, son? Don't ask me. All I remember is being held upside down by one foot. Well, it looks like we lose one, Sergeant. No, no. I'm afraid you lose all of the three stooges. <laughs> They're all part of the same conspiracy. Thank you, Mrs. Winger. 
You just saved my life. Guess I'm a free man, too, huh? You've got bad breath. Spencer, how could you do this? Mom, we were suspended for cheating in school. So you joined the army? Don't you guys realize what parents are for? We're here to pick you up when you fall down and to comfort you when you're hurt and to stand by you and love you no matter what you do. You mean you were forgiving me for cheating? Mothers always forgive. But we never forget. <laughs> Spencer? Today was a lonely day for me, not knowing where you were. It reminded me of years ago when you were a little boy. We played hide and seek together. You were only two years old. You still walked on your fanny. <laughs> but somehow you hid someplace and I couldn't find you. I ran all over the house looking for you. Upstairs, downstairs, in the closet, in the ice cube tray. <laughs> I was going crazy. And I said to myself, if I could find you, I was going to be the kind of father you could talk to. And then I found you. You're in the hamper eating one of my socks. <laughs> and since that day, there's always been that special communication where I could always talk to you and you could always talk to me. Right, Spencer? You're right, Dad. Thanks for opening up to me, son. <laughs> Next, on a spine-tingling bee, the Ellie...